What is going on, YouTube? This is OMG out here bringing you a third generation Wi Fi battle for a change. Oh my god. Anyway, this is versus Dr. J Bananas. I'll leave this link in the description. And uh, yeah, we're going to get the battle started as soon as possible. So here we go now. So it's all double speeded up, um, like triple speeded up. Anyway, he's leading off with a umbrella in here. I'm leading off with a uh, rain flocks because we're about to set up that rain and get it going. So anyway, I'm going to switch out, Um, you know, going to my. Uh, Celebi here, Peter Pan, uh, just Peter Panning it up and everything, and um, you know, he's gonna put me to sleep, and Peter Pan's gonna be a kid like always, and switch out and wake up, because that's what kids do, they love to wake up. So anyway, Peter Pan is no longer sick, and no longer needs to be in bed, so it's gonna wake up after it switches out, and in comes my Aerodactyl. They take the Hidden Power Ghost, because that's what Brothers will run, is Hidden Power Ghost. And nothing else besides it. So um, he's gonna withdraw his night quill because he knows I'm faster. He's gonna go into Steelix, and Steelix is going to take nothing from my double edge. My choice bandit double edge does absolutely nothing to that Steelix. So I'm gonna be forced to switch out because I'm scared of the steel move and the rock move. Uh, mainly the steel move because stab, but you know. There's not many good steel moves in a uh, third generation, so why would you use them? Anyway, I'm gonna go into my uh, Weezing here, because Weezing could take uh, everything like a boss, and I could just burn anything that I want to burn. So, Weezing is going to be in here, and <laughs> Weezing is going to, like, wait for a very, very long, long, <laughs> long time. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Okay, he finally decides to withdraw that Steelix and go into Mary Mew Cow. And um, I'm like, bro, only I use Mill Tank and not you. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Anyway, uh, Mary Mew Cow is burned. I know that thing has Heal Bell. I know it has Heal Bell. That's the only reason why he'd go into it. So, yeah, he has the Heal Bell. He reveals it to me. First turn. Go for a Sludge Bomb. See how much it will do. But I know Mill Tanks have that <laughs> big defense stat. And they can take almost anything like a boss. Um... I'm gonna just go for another Will-O-Wisp just to uh, force, what's it called, uh, Heal Bells. So I know he has seven left after he used one. Anyway, he's gonna go for a Body Slam, and I completely forgot that I had minus two defense from the Screech. Wondering why that Body Slam did so much. I was like, bro, I need to get out of here. So I'm gonna switch up one of my, uh, you know, Mad Yet. I think I'm going, no, I just go to Peter Pan here, because Peter Pan deserves to come in. So. Peter Pan's in there, and uh, he's gonna go for a milk drink, uh, sucking his nipples, uh, sucking her nipples, because all milk tanks could be female. They have to be female. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to deal with it. So I'm gonna go for a call mine, right, bro? And he's gonna switch out. I'm thinking. Yeah, he switches out, goes into JJ, the jet plane. I have no idea what that thing is. It's a man time, right? The Remoraid, right next to it. Uh, I don't understand that, but I don't understand how Remoraid evolves into Octillery. Yeah, I'll never understand. Anyway, I go to Mad. I have Baton Pass in the Mad Yet. He goes for the Haze, which uh, pretty much sucks. So I'm going to go for a Rain Dance, right, bro? And he will stay in, which sucks, and go for like a Surf, I think. Or, yeah, he goes for a Surf. But Surf is now Rain Boosted, Stab, and all that good stuff that goes on. And uh, that did quite a lot. Not enough. I am especially bulky because I'm a boss and I run the Rain Arachi. So I'm going to go for a Thunder here. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna switch out, and he's gonna go into, uh, he's gonna go into Barney here, and I'm not digging that Barney, yo, and, uh, Barney is going to, like, get hit by a psychic to the face, and I think I'm gonna one-shot it, I think. Um, it's either that, or he lives with, like, a sliver of HP, yep, and he does live with a sliver of HP. I get special defense drop, pretty useless, he's gonna earthquake me. Not gonna kill me, because, you know, Jirachi is a monster. Ah! In your face, so I'm just gonna stay in here. Rain continues to fall in the uh, rain, Rachi. Pretty boss, pretty boss. I should run the uh, water pulse set, but you know, I'm too lazy to do that. And he's gonna like, uh, I really don't know what's gonna happen here anymore because I just really forgot what's going on. And I'm like narrating at like four o'clock in the morning, you know, central time. Yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm pretty much staying up late so. I'm staying up late to narrate for you guys because I'm I'm that kind of person to narrate for you guys at four o'clock in the morning, and you know I'm not, it's not even a school night, so <laughs> why do you care? So I'm gonna go over at four rocks light, and not be not not be stupid and go for a double edge because I you know I just want to go for that stab. So anyway, he's gonna stay in with his mantine. I'm knows mantine is not gonna take this very well. Kill the mantine with one hit, super effective. Rock slide, choice bandit, stab, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, mantine is down for the count. So. 
I was hoping to get a, a kill with Orochi, but I don't. So, in comes the uh, stupid uh, Breloom. He knows that I'm Choice Bandit. So, I'm going to switch out, and I'm going to go into Peter Pan, because Peter Pan refuses to wake up. Well, he actually refuses to go to sleep, and he's going to go for the Hinnabower Ghost, like I told you. Oh, because I know that can't be Bug, because if that was Bug, it would have not been neutral on my Aerodactyl. So, ha, boss move, in your face, I win. So I'm going to go for a Psychic, and easily, like, one like one hit KO that Breloom, which is nice. I don't know why he's staying in on Psychic Pokemon, because, like, half my team is Psychic, and, like, half the other team is... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, in comes Full Manchu, and I'm like, bro, you ain't got no Full Manchu. Ha, I don't even know what that is, but, ha. What do I care? What do you care? What do we all care? I have no idea. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go. He's gonna call mine, and I'm like gonna call mine too because I'm a boss. Because you know I'm bulky, and I know I can take anything he wants to throw at me, except the ice punch or fire punch. Oh, which will suck if he does do that. So I will bot. I will baton pass this turn. He's gonna fire punch me. Not gonna quite kill me because I got that plus one special defense up. I baton pass. Go on into my rain blocks because I know I can take anything that he wants to throw at me with that plus one defense, that plus one special defense. So I'm in here with the plus one attack, plus one special defense. He goes for a calm mine. Not too worried about it. Uh, his calm mine just gives him all that good stuff again, and uh, I'm just gonna surf him in the face. He does a decent chunk. Does a decent chunk. I'm gonna surf him in the face again. He goes for a thunder punch. Not gonna kill me. Not gonna kill me because my plus one defense, my plus one special defense, to be exact. Anyway. He's gonna get surfed to the face again, and um, yeah, that's basically how it's gonna end for Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu. Anyway, actually, it's not gonna end for him. It's gonna end for Politoed. Politoed, you did your job. You're awesome. Good job. Anyway, whoa, whoa, what's gonna happen? Anyway, um, in comes Aerodactyl for the revenge kill. Go for a earthquake to the face. So, I'm gonna earthquake that thing in the face, and he's gonna withdraw and go into Mary Mukau. Ow, <laughs> Mary Mukau, sexy. Anyway, and the mill tank's gonna take it very well because, once again, mill tank is a defensive monster, and I don't wanna stay in and get paralyzed. So, actually, I think I'm gonna stay in, go for another earthquake, hoping to take it out because I know the, like, the burn made it look like it, I was gonna like two shot this thing, but I probably got min max damage on this, on, on this turn, and uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's basically what happens. Yeah, I, I definitely got min damage on that one. Uh, just, that just sucks. So, I'm gonna switch out, because I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. He, had, he does have one curse up. Um, no, actually, I'll just go for another Earthquake. I don't think he withdraws here. No, he just stays in. But that plus one, and he dies to a Earthquake. So, Mary Mukau is dead, and I no longer have to worry about it. Kill belling everything. He has three Pokemon left. He has this thing. I know I can't take it out with one earthquake from that much health. I'm gonna go into uh, my. I forgot what I go into here. Um, I go into wheezing drug joke because you guys always want to make a drug joke with a uh, wheezing. So anyway, he's gonna go for a swagger, right? And uh, yeah, he's gonna like perform this uh, combo with the whole swagger screech. You know, your defense is lower than your attack stat. Uh, you just take a lot of confusion damage. You do hit yourself. I'm gonna burn him, uh, just to burn him. Get some damage off. Get some residual damage off on the uh, Steelix. Cause Steelix is a wall that needs to go away forever. I'm gonna haze because I don't want to take any damage from the confusion and stuff. So I haze. I now have my neutral stats again. He's gonna go for a screech. He's gonna miss. Uh, not sure how much that mattered because it's just screech. And uh, yeah, he's really not hitting me with like rock slides or iron tails or. Whatever Steelix wants to hit me with, I don't, don't really care. Um, anyway, I'm going to go into Zangus here. Zangus is pretty much the most useless thing on my team. Because it does have the Hinder Power Ghost, which is stupid, even though I know it gets access to Shadow Ball. I am a stupid person. Don't judge me. Anyway, oh my god, people mess with me on PO. I don't really care. So I'm going to switch out, right? I'm going to pull the most uh, smart thing. I'm going to pull the smartest thing I could ever pull off ever in this uh, game. And, uh, yeah, Peter Pan comes in, he's gonna go for a swagger, I get that plus two attack, right, bro? And, uh, yeah, I'm just, um, just confused, Peter Pan's confused, right? But, you know, Peter Pan is a kid, and kids don't hit themselves in confusion. They just break through everything, because they're monsters. Anyway, he's burned, and I got that recover, so he's slower than me, I'm not too worried about it. I go for a recover, right? Get all that HP back, because I'm a monster. Look at that Peter Pan recovering, you know, eating all that all that stuff that we get. And, uh, yeah, now I have 
minus two defense and plus two attack. I mean, yeah, plus two attack. And, uh, yeah, that's all good in the hood. And all I'm hoping is that I break confusion. So I'm going to go for the baton pass, right? He's going to protect, right? Good for me, good for me, all good. I'm going to hit myself confusion this time because kids are, once again, very stupid. Uh, kids are stupid at some time, so uh, Peter Pan was pretty much stupid at this time and uh, just got wrecked. So anyway, I'm going to baton pass, right? He does not know what I'm going for right now, so I'm going to pull the smartest move here and, you know, baton pass. He goes into Barney, right? I snap out of confusion this turn. Baton pass, that onto the Aerodactyl. So now I have plus two choice bandit Aerodactyl here. I know I can hit everything with a choice bandit earthquake on his team and completely wreck upon it. So choice bandit earthquake to the face on Barney. You're dead. I don't love you, and uh, you never love me. So what are you talking about, Barney? Oh, so um, yeah, it's basically what's gonna happen. And uh, Fumon, oh wait, oh no, the Skeelix comes in, gets some lefties, gets burned a few. Uh, not really caring too much, you know. I'm just gonna hit it with that plus two earthquake, that plus two choice minute earthquake to the face times two, super effective. That's all good. So, like, my Earthquake's power was basically boosted to, like, 200, and uh, it kills that thing off. And in comes Fu Manchu, and uh, I'm going to Earthquake that to the face. So, that was really, really, really good game. Uh, um, Dr. J Bananas, I'll leave his link in the description. You guys should go check him out. I'm pretty sure he has some battles up there, too. Um, and, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys all later. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and peace out, guys.